Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and that is our new clown trigger. He's pretty awesome. I'm so excited to have one finally. He gets along with the other guy. They're about the same size, and they just love wreaking havoc on this tank. So they're pretty messy eaters, but they're fun to watch. So anyway, there's that, and I wanted to show you guys a few other things. I'm always experimenting with different lighting and different things, and this T5 here is pretty crazy, right? These bulbs are no name, just off the shelf, Home Depot bulbs, right? Nothing special, no wreath. And the strange thing is the mushrooms like doubled in size when I moved them under these lights versus the LED versus the blue. So, so I'm gonna keep my eye on that just for fun and see what happens. Now I just, this second, moved down those rock enemies in the back because they were like shriveling up and I didn't know if it was because of the flow, what the issue was. So I moved them under these lights to see if they would have the same effect as the mushrooms did and extend. Because that one, when it was in the other tank with the blues, was barely the size of the plug. Now it's completely over the plug and then some. So there's that and I made some new racks over here. Since we're opening the new store and having the fragging systems is going to be really, really important to us, not just for functionality, but keeping things clean, keeping things from falling under, from getting lost, keeping current in the tank. So there's a lot of things I'm trying to think about as I set this up. So I don't like pumps inside the tank. I don't like a lot of wave makers because it's electrical, it's clutter, it, more things to break, more things to maintenance. So I really want to do closed loop as much as I can so we get a base of circulation through the closed loop and maybe have something to pulse, you know, one or two MP40s or something in the tank just to give us that flow pattern that we need. But cleaning off the corals and keeping steady filtered water and oxygenated water over the corals is important. So you can get stagnant parts in your tank where the water doesn't move like you think it does and that's why some of your corals don't do as well. So over here I moved our awesome mushrooms. There's some killer, killer pieces in here. The Eclectus, the Jawbreakers, the Candy Crush, the Bounces. There's a 24 karat gold Bounces there. And there's a few other things. The St. Thomas mushrooms over there. So you can see what I did. I took the return line. Literally, instead of having it come over, I just took the plumbing and had it, you know, directed somewhere, clean the bottom. I mean, it's just wasted flow. It's coming over the top and creating e EVAP for no reason and just having the ripples go across the top. So I was like, you know what, we'll put that PVC in there. And I drilled some holes in there so you get some current going. And then there's that extra piece I just put in there just for the heck of it for no other reason than I just had a piece laying there. So, and these are the new racks. I bent, this is acrylic, it's uh, welded together and then it is bent. I used a heat gun and just bend it around the PVC. So it was kind of funny I did that and the first time I did it I melted the PVC with the acrylic so you do need to put like sand in there or use the thick wall just to keep the temperature from um, getting too hot. So there's some cool things in here. I'm going to stop the water and show you guys in a second but I just wanted to kind of give you the layout of the PVC and what I did. So I took my salt mixing pump and literally just connected it to a frame and then I drilled some holes into those PVC uh, pieces. So the current is basically blowing around this whole thing. So it's like stuck in there. Besides the holes, it's just sucking up and it's going to find its way. The legs are capped off at the bottom, even though if I were to take that leg off, water would start squirting out the bottom. So you can see the design, it uses the egg crates. And they're just floating. Technically, you can use any size egg crate in there and move move these things around. Um, so yeah. So let me stop this flow. And up here, I have <laughs> a whole mess of wiring, but this controls the pump. So I'm going to turn that off for a second. And the nice thing about it too is you can control the pressure. So and if you put in different valves, you can control how much flow the euphelias get versus how much flow the egg cans get. So that's something I'm going to work on. You know, each tank for us at the shop is going to be individualized. We really don't want to mix too many corals and then hurt those corals. I'd rather have one area just for 
LPS and one area for chow, um, for acros and mushrooms and whatever it is, you know. So, now you still see there's a lot of current going even though I stopped that pump. Now this is plugged in, these are all the extra wires and pumps under here, so I'm going to shut that off. And that should slow the water down even more. Now I still have this thing blowing over here. The return line is still pumping water at all times. So I could slow that down if I want to. That pump is a beast. I mean, it's just massive. And you can control the pressure. I actually love it. It um, gives you more, more options with that, with the power. Now I turned off the wave makers, which I plugged in my lights to the power for the wave makers. That way, if I ever forget, seeing these lights off is like an instant brain fart like to wake you up hey turn the flow back on because I came down after one day of not having any flow on and the corals like I said they notice right away when you have those lights bright with no flow they get a sunburn just like you would so there's still all my goodies in here my fish there's a purple tang in there All right, our video just got interrupted by the presidential presidential text alert thing. So that was the first time I've ever seen one of those. That was interesting. So, nice to check that out. Now, the only problem with using this over the underwater camera is, if you guys can see, there's the lights there. So I kind of like have to shade this. Um, where you see the reflection in the water. Now I started organizing these things. They are in a rack tray system. Like I said, when we go to the new store, every position will have a location um, with an item number. So we will do that probably with the laser or something. So that way people will know. But there's some pretty cool pieces in here. Check these bad boys out. Now we were just invited to a show in Connecticut. Um, thank you very much, Will, from the Coral Reef Connection um, for inviting us to that and, and hooking us up because I, I really appreciate that. That's a pretty awesome show and I've been wanting to get involved with that one for a while. So last minute we are going to Connecticut this Friday, which means I need to go book my hotel immediately so I can get in on that. Um, but I hear there's some top game there. There's really, really, really nice pieces. Lots of awesome stuff. So you wanna be prepared for that show. I'm gonna to have to bring the good stuff for that one. Check it out. And you can see the difference in color here. I love these blasters. So awesome. That jawbreaker is nuts. It's so bright. My eclectus mushroom. These things are off to the side. They're not even getting the full light. But there's my interstellar bounces. Alright guys, that was just a little update inventory. The website is technically down at the moment. I timed things a little wrong and I was hoping to have the new website up and ready, but there's just been so much going on with the new building and I've been neglecting some things, just like I said, I'm only one person, but I appreciate you guys, really do, just for watching this video, just for hitting that like button, share it with a friend, uh, we have a new store coming on the East Coast, Coralus Reef Solutions will be opening, uh, hopefully by Thanksgiving in November, so stay tuned for that, and as always, thanks for watching and happy reading. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.